Hello everyone and welcome to another educational video about screen printing by Catsbit Productions. I am doing a video that was requested several times by several different people and they asked me how do I make my registration marks when when you see that I do these really simple spot colors you know one uh, two colors three colors and I have these kinda uh, beefy registration marks that I use and people were asking me about them so how do I create them okay so here's a simple little spot color setup it's on three layers basically because it's a three color even though that you see I have four layers because I have a little branding going on over here okay but that's locked so basically we have three layers okay we've got a color here that we're gonna use or could use this is another color and then this one prints over it like that you know like two registration marks getting lined up so there'd be two different colors right kinda cool like they're about to get lined up so you have three colors one two three okay so it's a simple spot color very easy each screen is done by printing the film pot so we would print this this is one film positive then the other then the other right okay but what about your registration marks so what I do for this kind of thing it's really simple I just create a new layer okay layer 5 and you know you want to have your artwork visible at this point sorry <laughs> okay so layer 5 and then I do this really simple thing and I like it a lot I don't know why I, or how I discovered this but I like Arial and I use a T alright so here I have this T and this should be on this this fifth layer even though we only have four layers for the design right okay so there it is so there's one and now at this point you can decide whether you want to you know center these things because uh, and yellow isn't a great color to use because you can barely see it I don't know why they even use yellow and white but you can decide where these crosshairs are going to go in relation to the design and if you if you center the design in the crosshairs then when you're lining up the film positives on the screen you can actually line them up using the crosshairs if you don't center them then obviously you can't do that alright so all I did was use these rulers I don't know if you know but up in uh, here what is it view show or hide rulers and you know and this is basically the principle is the same whether you're using corral or illustrator you know what I'm saying it's it's the same type of functions just different commands so you'd be working in layers you still have rulers to work with alright so you see what I did there I just lined that one up there now I'll copy and paste and I have another one and I'll just bring it up to that area and kinda center it like so that's about good you know this design is a little bit asymmetrical in the middle so I would probably try to use the text to line these up but first we're gonna set them up so there I got the top I'm gonna select this other one hopefully copy paste okay and you see them there they're still grouped together now I'm gonna go up and transform reflect horizontal and flip them upside down and now that yellow is really bad I don't like that now I have them on the bottom <coughs> okay see so that's it now at this point you can get rid of these things if you want you know if you're happy with kinda where they are or in relation to one another and if you wanted to tweak it any further you can grab them you should be able to group them <coughs> I was having trouble grouping mine earlier sometimes Illustrator doesn't want to cooperate alright so I centered them a little bit but this is good enough for the to show you okay so so there you go and you they don't have to be this big you can shrink them down a little bit if you wanted to okay what did I have mine 52 right okay so they're all 52 they gotta be the same and now it's ready basically ready to print okay you have now for the design you have one two three four layers this layer controls the registration marks oops my mouse is 
wobbling around. Here we go. Okay, so that controls the registration marks. That layer would be on all the time. And then now, when we go to print the film, we're going to just do one at a time like this. And that's it. Uh, print that. That's one piece of film. Print that. That's another piece of film. Print that. And that's your last piece of film. Okay, so all together, we have the four, four layers for your registration. <coughs> excuse me, and for the design itself. Alright, and that's it. That's how I do my registration marks for simple spot colors that I might manually separate like this or just create on layers. So it's already kind of manually separated as you create it. So there you go. Simple aerial black, or uh, not aerial black, regular aerial, capital T, and then flipped upside down for the bottom. Very simple registration mark. It works really cool. I like it. Uh, the few people who've tried it say they like it a lot. So there it is. Shared it with you. That's all. Very simple. Blah, blah, blah. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, thanks a lot for watching. As always, I appreciate your time and attention. So uh, please subscribe, and we will see you next time.